Capacities is one of those apps that feels simple at first, but the more you explore, the more powerful it gets. If you've been using Capacities for a while, you might feel like you've got the basics down, but there's a good chance you're missing out on some really useful features that could make a big difference. In this video, we're going to walk through seven tips that will help you take better notes, stay more organized, and get more out of the app without extra effort. Think about how we usually organize information. Folders, spreadsheets, lists. It works, but it's not exactly how our brains work. We don't think in rigid structures. Instead, we connect ideas. One thought leads to another. Capacities takes this natural way of thinking and makes it part of how you take notes. Instead of just putting information into categories, you can actually link anything to anything else. Every note, idea, or piece of data in Capacities is called an object, and objects can be connected however you want. To link two objects, you just use these. Both do the same thing, so pick whichever feels right for you. Once you type one, a search bar pops up, and you can find the object you want to connect. Let's say you have a note about programming, and another about JavaScript. If you're in the programming object, type JavaScript, pick it from the list, and now they're linked. It's not a one-way link. JavaScript will also show a link back to programming. And at the bottom of each object, there's a backlink section, where you can see everywhere that object is referenced. This makes it very easy to find connections between ideas and quickly jump between related notes. Tags are often used in a generic way, but you can take them a step further by using custom tags to categorize information based on the way you actually think and work. Instead of just tagging notes with broad topics, create functional tags like to revisit for notes that need further research, insights for key takeaways, or actionable for notes that require immediate implementation. This method ensures that your notes are not just stored, but also structured for easy retrieval. When you search for actionable, you instantly get a list of all notes that require your attention, which reduces the time spent digging through old notes. Sometimes, the way we organize notes doesn't really fit how we think. We've been stuck using folders and rigid systems because that's just how computers work. But Capacities changes that. Instead of forcing everything into a strict structure, it lets you build your own system using objects and object types. Every note, task, or idea you create in Capacities is an object, and each one belongs to a specific type. Some object types are built into the system and come with extra features, but if you need something more specific, you can create your own custom types. This means you can add properties like checkboxes, dates, or even different layout options to fit your workflow. You can start with a template made by the community or create one from scratch. The only thing you need to decide at first is a name, one version in singular and one in plural. This helps Capacities keep everything structured. Once you've picked a name, just hit Create Object Type. And that's it. Capacities will generate an example for you, and from there, you can fine-tune it however you like. One powerful yet underused feature in Capacities is the ability to create dashboards. By structuring your notes with linked pages, filtered views, and dynamic queries, you can build a system that acts as a second brain. For example, if you're managing a content calendar, create a note that automatically pulls in all blog idea tags and organizes them by date. You can also filter tasks based on priority to ensure that your dashboard always reflects what's most important. This way, Capacities becomes not just a note-taking tool, but a personal knowledge management system that adapts to your workflow. Sharing your work is a great way to get feedback and make your content more valuable. But since Capacities isn't like a regular note-taking app, sharing works a bit differently. Instead of just handing over a single document, you choose which parts of your knowledge graph to make public. Open the content you want to share, click the three dots in the top right corner, and hit Share. 
a window will pop up where you can generate a link. From there, you can fine tune permissions to decide exactly what's included. By default, any other content linked to what you're sharing, plus the links inside those, will also be shared. But you can open up the details, review the full list, and uncheck anything you don't want to include. Once it's shared, permissions follow four simple rules. Keeping those in mind will help you stay in control of what's public. The best part? You can manage and update these public pages just like your private notes, making them a dynamic and evolving resource for others to explore. Many users ignore the Daily Notes feature beyond simple note-taking, but it can be a turnaround when used strategically. Instead of treating it as a dumping ground for random thoughts, structure it into sections such as morning plan, key learnings, and evening reflection. By doing this, you create a habit of intentional documentation. Additionally, link relevant daily notes to long-term projects or themes. Over time, you'll see patterns in your thoughts and productivity, which can help you refine your focus and decision-making process. Rather than creating new notes from scratch every time, use templates to standardize the structure of your most common types of notes. If you frequently take meeting notes, set up a template that includes sections for attendees, agenda, key takeaways, and next steps. This not only saves time, but also ensures consistency across your notes. More importantly, it makes reviewing old notes easier because they all follow the same logical format. Most people either delete old notes or let them pile up into an unmanageable mess. Instead of either extreme, use a structured archive system. When a project or note becomes inactive, move it to an archive space, but maintain its connections to other notes. This way, even archived notes remain part of your knowledge system and can be resurfaced when needed. Let's say, if you archive a completed project, any related notes that are still active will retain their links to it. This keeps everything organized without cluttering your main workspace. By using these seven tips, you can turn Capacities into more than just a note-taking app. It becomes a tool that actively enhances the way you think, work, and create. Try implementing these techniques and see how they change your workflow for the better. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.